everyone welcome back to my channel it's Jasmine and today I have a great review for you guys for anyone that's in the market for cookware kitchen appliances everything kitchen I think you're really gonna like this review if you don't know about this company then I don't think you've been on social media for the past like year or two i feel like i saw um an ad for the always pan a year or two ago or a year and a half ago and it's always been in the back of my mind like when i move out and have my own kitchen and you know i'm in the market to buy things that i wanted to try this out because i love the idea of no non-stick but i've also liked the idea of safe cookware because a lot of the non-stick pans um are made with bad chemicals or whatever so I was really really excited because um, when I moved out of my family's house and into this apartment it was around Thanksgiving and Black Friday so I was definitely like lucky when I was shopping for all this stuff because I had um, they were doing their Black Friday sale and I got so many things like half off or like 40% off just really good deals and I'm so happy because I am like I think 9 out of 10 really really happy with all of my purchases and I think their stuff is so aesthetic and so beautiful and just looks so nice in the kitchen and so so safe. So I'm gonna you know show you everything that I got. So let's start with the always pan. So the always pan it used to come in like I think just like this terracotta color and it's that color is really really pretty but um, me and my roommate really, really, really wanted the charcoal color, the black color. And this pan is on retail for $145. And this is what it looks like. This is the pot. It's very like, it has like a good weight of, uh, it has like a good weight, but it's not like heavy, like really, really heavy cast iron, like those. It's not as heavy as cast iron, but it's really, really heavy. And I love this handle because it doesn't get hot. So they did a really good job with this handle and it's also um, oven safe so you can put it in the oven up to like 450 I believe. What I'll say is that you know you definitely do have to be really really careful with what utensils you use for this pan. And it also does come with a spatula and you can rest the spatula down here. They have like this little button right here and you can rest it right here and then with everything that you buy like plates or pots it comes with these things to clean it's like they're called natural um, sponges and they say that it's best to let the sponge soak in the water to activate and then you can start scrubbing and it does get the job done but then when it dries it gets super curly and super weird actually cleaning is really really simple you don't need a lot of oil but obviously you can use oil but they also say that it's best to leave um, a little bit of water and a little soap soaking in the pan before you start washing it the only thing I will say is that I do have some scratches on the bottom but it is made with non-toxic non-stick ceramic coating um, you do really have to be careful um, I am trying really really hard not to use metals for this cookware and just in general because i've ruined so many pots back in my day back in like just my kitchen days i am like a rough cooker and i usually like am always using the spoon to like you know like move things around i'm always using like knives and spoon like big spoons to cut like tofu or cut things in the pan and honestly that just really does mess it up but I was cutting up something in the pan and I think I I did use a spoon or something like once and my roommate actually called me she was like oh you're the one that's messing up the pot but I honestly have been trying so hard not to mess it up and we've only had it for a month I really do love it but you do just have to be so careful with whatever you're using to cook with and then we bought this pot so the pan we did get it for um it usually does retail for 145 but on the sale we got it for 92 dollars so we saved about 50 dollars which is amazing and then the pot the pot retails for 165 dollars and we bought it for 120 so uh, that was like a 40 dollar saving and the pot is so big like you could do you could boil 
and do so many things in here. Um, I've used it for making um, tomato sauce, like spaghetti sauce, pasta sauce. And literally it was so easy to like just pour it, everything out and everything was just so nonstick and it came out so easily. The only downside with this, like it has every attribute as um, the pan. It also came with this spatula too, but I'm not sure if you can rest it on here. The only downfall is the handles. The handles are not coated, so they do get hot. So that's the only thing that sucks. I wish that they included, and my roommate really hates it too, that they included um, like, a, like a heat resistance handler so you don't have to use oven mitts. So I'm not sure which one came with which, but one of them comes with this, which is like kind of like a plate with holes on it. Um, you can put it on top of water if you're boiling water or if you're cooking food and you, and you wanna add this, I think that you know you can put this and then steam something on top. I honestly have not used this yet, but I do like this. This one is a metal rack like steamer for anything. You can put vegetables on here. And I also use it to um, rinse things. Like if I need to rinse rice or if I'm opening up opening up a can of beans, I pour the beans in there and rinse it with water. It's a great rinser. Now, I also bought so many other things because the website, again, is super, super cute and aesthetic and it's just my vibe. And also things were on sale and I was in the market for everything. I was debating over these two plates, but I ended up getting, um, I mean the bowls, but I ended up getting both. So this one is called the tiny bowls and I got them for $25 for a set of four and they and they stack up but they are are originally $35 so I saved $10 on them and I bought this first because I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger honestly and I wouldn't have to get this bigger bowl but when I saw this I was like oh my god I can't I can't use this for my oatmeal, my parfait, my cereal. You can literally use it for like, you know, eating like a little bowl of fruit or putting your sauces, your ketchup, your mayo. The company's name is down here and it has like the spotted design and I honestly, I love spotted design. I love that speckled look, but I I was at um I think Home Goods and I saw these mugs and I wasn't even thinking about it, but I just love them so much. But they also have the spotted design and, and it matches perfectly with the bowls from our place. And then I bought this for my dog, his food and water bowls. And it also has the spotted design. I don't know if you can see it. It looks like cookies and cream. It's so cute. And it also matches like everything. So, but yeah, these are dishwasher friendly and they are microwave safe. The only thing with the microwave is that you do have to be careful because I think if you cook anything over a minute, it does get really hot and you do have to use like oven mitts or something. We've been using them for a month and there hasn't been any chips on the outside. The bottom of the the bottom of all of the plates and the bowls get a little chippy. Like, I don't know if it's a chip or it's just part of the design um, or if this coating just naturally starts to tear away a little bit but it does have a little like like rough surface kind of ish but it's honestly not that bad and again it feels really good quality honestly these side bowls they're amazing but they're also kind of too big i wish that they were just a tiny bit smaller just because they are so deep and um when i eat my oatmeal parfait cereal it honestly doesn't fill up and it's kind of like, I feel like um, if it was a little bit smaller or maybe this wasn't so tall, it would be a little bit better. But honestly, I'm just being picky because there may be a day where I want like to put some food in here and I do need it to be a little higher, a little wider. So I think I'm just being a little picky, but I bought these for, I bought these for the same price um, that they are on the website, $45 for a set of four because um, I bought it after the Black Friday sale because I thought I wouldn't need them. So that is that. And then the plates. The plates are the same. 
They have that terracotta ceramic look. I actually really love touching it. Um, it's stackable and then it has that spotted design, that spotted. So the last two products that I wanna mention are the knife and the cutting board. So this is the knife from our place. So I was in a, I was in the market for a chef's knife. It's like, I love the kitchen and I love cooking, but I've never had a chef knife, like a really good chef knife. So I was really, really excited to buy this knife. And I think originally, let me see how much it was worth. Okay, so the chef's knife is originally $70 and it comes with different colors for the handle, but I wanted the all like charcoal kind of sleek dark look and i think i got it for about 50 dollars, so i saved about 20 dollars. and it's a walnut cutting board um it's really heavy like i think it's like five seven pounds let me see it's five pounds it's black walnut wood and it also has like this little dent in it so if you're cutting up anything juicy and you want to save the juice or you just don't want the juice falling all over your countertop then you know it's perfect for that but then the other side doesn't have the the little dentures i've noticed that some of the uh, some of the smells stay like i cut up a lot of onion and garlic and then one time i was eating my pineapple or my kiwi and it tasted like onion and garlic so that was like super gross because i wasn't expecting that um and i you know i don't know if i just you know i had to go back and clean it a lot um yes like over here like some there are some spots that smell more like onion and garlic no matter how much i clean it or maybe i just don't know how to clean it that well but i just wish it didn't absorb so much of the oils and i wish um that i had a little bit more of a cleaner look because it does get really scratchy and the wood starts to like come off a bit um so i don't know if that's just what you get with real wood um boards cutting boards um i have used the wooden board before but maybe it wasn't real wood or something or maybe it was higher quality i don't know that's pretty much it um i think overall with all of the products that i bought and all the savings that i got and the good quality that i've experienced i would say i would rate them like eight nine out of ten or four out of five like i think it is worth your money and if you're deciding if you want to try out some new kitchen products or if you're at the market definitely definitely try this company it's so cute and i've tagged them a lot on instagram already um whenever i use i whenever i feature their products and they always comment back and write back and i love when social media um social media people from companies are super vocal when people are shouting out their products i think that's really great so yeah that is my review from our place and the always pan and all the accessories that it comes with and all the other things thank you so much for watching let me know if you like these home like reviews